are just afraid of this disease. If you know something, help us Zimbabweans. We are on stranded people that are dying. During the early stage of the COVID-19 pandemic in Zimbabwe, like elsewhere in the world, little was known about this novel virus, and panic was not uncommon. Two months after the country confirmed its first coronavirus-related death in March 2020, a Chinese medical team arrived in the country to assist in the fight against the pandemic. Among the 12 team members, Sun Shuang was a traditional Chinese medicine expert specializing in respiratory diseases. Eddie Senyama is a resident in Harare, capital of Zimbabwe. He and his wife caught COVID-19 in January 2021. As they were experiencing symptoms like headaches, runny nose and nausea, they approached traditional Chinese medicine for help. It was a five-day course and then uh, on the second day um, I started feeling much, much better um, and uh, on day four I had uh, fully recovered. I feel it's, it's very effective and um, it's cheap and um, I would recommend that uh, Zimbabweans uh, would, can take up this medicine. Um, I, I think it's very effective. 我大概收治了一千四百多个新冠患者，线上线下，呃，总体的中西结合治疗有效率的话是达到了百分之九十二以上的，所以呃，这个也是很有说服力，包括卫生部，包括大众都还是很很认可、很接受的。中医药在新冠救治的方面，主要突出的优势，我觉得在于一些呃全身性的一些症状的一个调理。给药以后，它的这个呼吸道症状和全身症状可以一起同时得到一个缓解。我觉得这个是最大的一个一个优势。To help fight the COVID pandemic, China has dispatched traditional Chinese medicine experts to about 30 countries and regions. It has also been sharing the TCM treatment of coronavirus in more than 150 countries while providing TCM products to those countries in need. My name is Dawood. When I was affected by Corona, I had some diseases like Zoukam, Sual and the Heart Rate. So I had one of the closest to the Chinese medicine and was offered in the Cidalia, which helped me to get rid of this disease. وكان له الأسر الفعال في تخفيف حدة العوارض من حرارة وسعال والكحل. In a report released in late March, the World Health Organization confirmed that TCMs are beneficial in the treatment of COVID-19, particularly mild to moderate cases. The WHO also said there are promising data to suggest that TCM is beneficial in reducing the risk of progression from mild to moderate cases to severe COVID-19. In Britain, which boasts one of the best health systems in the world based on Western medicine, the traditional Chinese medicines have become increasingly popular. Chen Zanyu, president of Federation of Traditional Chinese Medicine Practitioners, said he and his colleagues have become much busier, especially since the COVID-19 pandemic. Overall, at least more than, that's what we calculated, more than 10,000, 10, at least. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In fact, probably none of the herbs can deliberately kill or, or, or you know, eliminating the virus itself. But the good thing about China's uh, approach is we try to readjust the body's immune system or the balance of energy or balance of five elements or yin yang. So that is what the Chinese wisdom we are being practiced for some years. It caused palpitations in me, um, but it was like 10 or 15 seconds twice a day. The herbs uh, calmed that down. They just made me feel more balanced mm -hmm. and better able to function. In Germany, to help fight the coronavirus pandemic, in 2020, Confi Med Pharmaceutical in Germany and Anhui Jiren Pharmaceutical in China jointly introduced a Chinese medicine formula Shufeng Jiedu to German pharmacies. This includes the Rose Pharmacy in Rosheim, Bavaria, Germany. Und da hat natürlich Shufeng Jidu auch seinen Platz gefunden, nachdem wir sehr schnell gesehen haben, dass es eine extrem gute Wirkung hat bei der akuten Infektion, bei der hohen viralen Belastung mit äh, Corona. 
In its recent report, the WHO encouraged member states to consider the potential use of TCM for the management of COVID-19 in the context of their healthcare systems and regulatory frameworks. From Europe to Africa, that is already happening. We are inspired by the Health Commission of the People's Republic of China for adopting COVID-19 treatment guidelines that integrate traditional Chinese and conventional medicine. This integration of the two systems of health will undoubtedly contribute to the transition from volume-based to value-based health care. Yes, I think the two should be merged and work together. Um, and it's not just about COVID. There's all sorts of situations where uh, people will benefit. And um, in fact, the whole society would benefit. So China medicine can play a more and a more bigger role. I remember when I was a student, one of my teachers says, well, obviously, a lot of people think that as long as they are gold, they will shine. I think that's for sure.